Hello everyone, I'm Thomas and this is day 5 of 100 days of code in IoT challenge. Today, my plan is to start building a prototype of something that can be used in the real life. Something more useful than the circus we've built so far. However, before I start, since I'm gonna be dealing with high voltages today, let me just quickly show you this warning message. Today, we're gonna make use of a relay module. Something that allows you to control a high voltage circuit with a low voltage circuit. By control, I simply mean closing the circuit or opening the circuit, or like switching on or switching off, supplying power to the high voltage circuit or not supplying any power, right? On the low voltage side, which is gonna be the control side, we're gonna have our microcontroller, obviously. On the high voltage side, we could use any device with required voltage supply up to 250 volts, according to the specification of this. But what I'm gonna use is this mocha style pressure coffee maker. The reason I'm gonna use this one is I want to improve it a little bit because, you know, at the moment, you put the water, you put the coffee in, you switch it on here, and then you have to keep an eye on your coffee. Um, it takes like 10 minutes for, for the coffee to be ready, but yeah, you need to keep an eye because if you forget, you're risking your coffee being burnt, and I don't want that. And also, I have like an idea to improve it further. Um, so for now, going with the simplest path, um, I'm going to add a timer, right? It's average time until the coffee is ready is 10 minutes. So we're gonna program a simple timer, but we're gonna continue on that and try to improve this. Also, what I would like to get is some sort of notification, maybe a sound when the coffee is ready. So yeah, let me show you the parts and components I'm gonna use today. So first, let me basically explain how, how this works, right? I'm just gonna open it. I'm gonna show you. So you, you put your coffee here, water here, right? Then you close it like that, right? You put it on the pot and you need to switch it on, right? It's actually already it was switched on. And that's it, then you wait until your coffee is ready. It's gonna basically appear here, right? So that's for the, that's for the, for the coffee machine. I don't really plan uh, to disassemble anything. Instead of, uh, instead of that, I'm, I'm just gonna use this cable here, right? This cable here, and it's got two, there's one wire that is basically cut like that, right? For the smaller parts, we have this breadboard. It is bigger today. There's, there's gonna be more components on it. ESP already attached. Bunch of wires. A diode. A button from yesterday. This uh, small buzzer. This this is going to generate sound when the coffee is ready. We've got our relay. And this is where uh, an issue actually uh, emerges if using this this relay. As you can see here, this one needs five volts uh, power supply. And the issue is uh, with our ESP, we have only 3.3 volts. So we're gonna need to have um, an external power supply. And for those, there are two options. Let me show you those options. So you can either go for this power supply module. This is actually quite common, uh, common, uh, yeah, commonly included in those uh, development kits. So you might, you might have this already. Uh, and this one requires a uh, AC adapter like this, All right? Basically connected here, right? It is quite good. I mean. Gives us two power lines. If you have a look here, one power line here and another one here, and you can basically pick the the voltage uh, 
you want to have uh, between 5 and 3.3 so yeah that is controlled by this small plastic sleeve so depends where you put this uh, we can get 3.3 or, or 5 on each side um, so yeah that, that is actually quite useful the other option is this small USB module this can give us um, either 5 volts or 3.3 Unfortunately, we cannot really get both. So in our case, for the relay, that would be 5 volts. And for our microcontroller, uh, we, have, we have two options for the power supply. So one is the standard one, which is basically connecting a USB cable to our computer, or it can be actually a power bank as well. So that would draw just uh, 3.3 volts. However, if we just want to rely on a single uh, source of power, we can keep this one and use this uh, step down voltage, voltage regulator. So that one takes on the input side up to 7.5 volts. So, you know, it should be fine with the 5 volts, just drawing 5 volts from here, um, supplying power to the relay module and also connected to, to this uh, regulator. Um, and on the, on the output side here, we're going to get a stable 3.3. So we can connect that 3.3 to our uh, to our ESP A266. And th the last thing I've got is is those two batteries in the box. Um, and I'm I'm just gonna I'm just gonna use it uh, to demonstrate the the prototype of our. Uh, of our whole circuit, but without using the high voltage. Okay, so let's let's assemble the first simplest circuit. What I'm gonna do first, um, yeah, I'm I'm going to use this uh, power supply module. Um, I, I can show you at the end how to how to use the USB one, but yeah, let's just try with this one. It's, it's basically more convenient. Um, what I'm gonna do is to change this plastic sleeve to five volts, so we're gonna have a five volts here and three point three uh, in here. And what we're gonna do is to uh, first create our button circuit the one we did yesterday and for that yeah that's gonna be quite simple right so we, i'm just gonna pick diode uh sorry i'm just gonna pick a uh, pin uh d5 which is this one i'm gonna connect it to one end of the of the button and then the other end actually yeah, let's, let's let's better do this on this side and the other end is gonna go to our ground here. So okay, let's just do it it's next to it. So that will go to the ground here. Mm. So uh, yeah, that's for the button. And uh, I'm gonna use this relay. Let me just quickly explain how this how this works and why we have actually three ports in here for the for the this is actually for the for the high voltage circuit and, and, and let me explain why we have three ports instead of two. So essentially it depends what is the initial uh, state that you want. If you want for your initial state for the for the high voltage circuit to be closed and electricity flowing, then uh, you need to connect one end of the cable here and the other on end of the cable here. All right, then as an initial state, uh, when the relay is switched off, we'll have electricity flowing in the high voltage circuit. When the low voltage circuit switches the relay on, then it cuts off, it basically opens the circuit, so the, the high voltage circuit electricity there is not flowing. Um, if you, on the other hand, connect one end of the cable here 
and the other end of the cable here, the initial state of the high voltage circuit is going to be open, so electricity not flowing. And basically, if uh, the low voltage circuit is going to switch this relay on, we will have electricity flowing in the high voltage circuit, the circuit will be closed. Right, in our case, this is, this is what we want to do. Because, yeah, we want to basically make it like, when it switches on, it closes the high voltage circuit and it turns on the, the coffee maker. Right, at this point, uh, I'm not really gonna connect anything uh, here. Instead, we're gonna be just uh, looking at this diode here. So yeah, when I think it's this one actually, yeah, it's this one here. So when it starts, when it when it switch on, this uh, diode is also on, so we will be able to see. And what I want to do is to use this button to control uh, to control the relay. So when I press it, I want this to be switched on. The diode is on. When I release, should be off. That's gonna be the first step. Okay, let me just quickly connect this. So what we need is uh, we have three pins here. The first pin I'm connecting my wire to is a minus. So that needs to go to the ground on five voltage. So I'm just gonna do it here. Then the second, the second pin is plus. So that's gonna go to, to positive here, right? And that's basically the power supply. That's basically the power supply to, to the relay. And the last, uh, the last pin is, uh, is the controlling pin. Let me just connect it here. So this gray wire is gonna control whether the relay is switched on or off. And that needs to be connected to the pin on the, on the board. Uh, that is going to be set in into the uh, output mode. So let's do D1. So yeah, now with this configuration and a little bit of code, we should have uh, basically this button controlling the relay. So yeah, so let's let's move to the code now. So here we have the code from yesterday. Uh, it's not going to be actually many changes. What we have to do is to change this input to input pull up as we don't use the pull down resistor anymore. We're just relying on the built in pull up resistor. And basically, because of that, uh, this needs to change. So, this needs to check if it's low. So, if it's low, then we just want to say uh, relay on and basically if it's if it's if it's high we want to say relay off as you probably remember from yesterday if we have a pull up the initial state of the of the of the voltage of the read on the on the digital pin is going to be high and when you press the button it is low so it's all the way around to to the, to the last circuit that we did yesterday. Okay, so yeah, that's essentially it. I'm going to, I'm going to deploy it now. Okay, so that is deployed. However, I'm going to Disconnect it now from the from the USB, and we're going to connect it to. We're going to connect the the the, the microcontroller to the power supply. So we're gonna supply power to microcontroller, not from the USB as we as we did before, uh, but from the from the from the supply power supply module. So let me just do that. Okay, so the USB is disconnected 
and uh, because we, we disconnected it, there is no power supply to, to the board anymore. All right, what we can do is to supply the power from the, from the power supply module. And in order to do that, I have to connect 3.3 uh, volts. So that's, that's actually important to make sure that here we have a sleeve in the position of 3.3. Because if, if, if you do five, five volts, you're going to burn the board, All right? So it is important. Okay. We have 3.3 .3 here, so we save. And what I'm going to do now is to connect this wire to plus and yeah, the other end of the wire to, to the pin three V three. So that's how you supply. That's how you supply the the voltage, the, the, the electricity to the to the microcontroller, and uh, then the ground. So ground also has to be connected to the ground of the power supply module, which is basically here. All right. So with that, as soon as I switch this on, um, oh yeah, I have to connect AC adapter here. So then I just do that. Okay, that is done. So yeah, as, as soon as I switch it on, the code that I deployed on ESP is going to is going to run. Uh, one disadvantage when you when you do something like that is that we're not going to have a, a serial monitor, right? Because the serial monitor information is being sent through the USB cable, which is not connected on the, at the at this moment. But you know that's fine, no worries, uh, because basically what we can do uh, later on is just you know reconnect the the cable here, disconnect those two wires, and then we will have a serial port. Okay, so I'm gonna switch it on. Hopefully this is not gonna explode, right? Cool. Okay, that's switched on. Everything's fine, and I'm just gonna quickly test it. So this button here should okay. Let me just yeah stick it properly okay so this button should actually start this one okay as you can see when I press we have a we have a red uh, a red light here right uh, LED and we we actually can hear the sound of the of the solenoid inside uh, it's basically sticking the the, the wires are uh, it's electromagnetic basically okay so now uh, before before we come back to the code because this is essentially not what we want to have we want uh, this button just to initiate the sequence and that sequence will be first of all setting up the timer for, t for 10 minutes uh, switching this on waiting 10 minutes and after 10 minutes switching it off and then play the uh, the beeping sound right with this I still need to connect that but yeah before before I do that let me just show you uh, let me just connect something to 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 the to the other end of the of the relay right to to have something that's gonna imitate our uh, high voltage circuit and uh, this is why I actually uh, th this is why I have those those batteries in the box, right? Because I, I really want this circuit to be separated from those circuits, All right? So what I'm just gonna connect is uh, those batteries here and the diode, All right? They they both give three volts, so the the, the diode should be fine with that. Uh, yeah, for that I'm gonna need a screwdriver. So yeah, let me just speed it up a little bit. Uh, one important thing to to say is that uh, here I'm gonna connect one end here, the other end here, right? So we want to have initial state of the of the meant to be a high voltage circuit uh, to be open, so no electricity flowing. And when I press, I want to see the the light uh, on the, the 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 diode, right? When it's when it's not pressed, it should be off, right? Okay, let's just let's just I'm just gonna speed it up and I'm gonna assemble that. Okay. 
Okay, it's done. So as you as you can see now, what I basically what I basically did is uh, we have this batteries box here, right? The red wire is uh, a plus, and the black wire is minus, right? The the red wire is going here. It doesn't actually matter which one we're gonna use because like it is just to open or close the uh, the circuit, right? And this is gonna this is going here, and then we have this 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 uh, blue wire, right? It is still a, a plus, and it's going to to the to the longer end of the of the diode, and then we have this black wire, right? This is basically going to the to the minus of the battery, and as you can see, when I press the button, we have our diode on, right? Great, so that that works as as we wanted to work uh, initially, right? Initially, because that's still not enough. There is another thing I'm gonna have to do, um, which is uh, the timer. The timer we're going to add the the buzzer at the end. So now let's move back to the code. I'm gonna switch this off. Okay, thanks for watching. This is it for today. I'm gonna continue on the subject tomorrow. So if you don't want to miss the next video, subscribe to my channel. If you have any feedback or questions, leave a comment. Cheers, bye.